Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Time with Nayat. Uh, it's the fifth episode, and today we try again a streamer, 100% Nayat streamer. So if you only have one material and that is Nayat, you can try it. And uh, will we stream it like that? And there was a just a pre tie for the video. And uh, yeah, it's a pure Nayat streamer. and. Uh, like bucktail streamers, you'll be able to tie Nyad hollow tight, and this is um, if you want to tie pure Nyad streamers, quite important for bigger pike streamers because, as I said before, it's a natural material, takes a little bit of water, and uh, therefore, less material means less weight, easier casting, uh, more fun. So, we tie again. Like in all the other episodes, um, we tie a fire tiger string. So, um, cut off some of uh, the trees now yet. Uh, it's just for the tail, so we get away of all the um, underfur. And we probably want to have a length like that. I'm making it too big, so just cut it maybe in this position like that. And um, what we do then, we taper just a little bit, it's just for the tail. And we get our thread, I'm using a GSP thread here. Just apply a little bit of super glue so it's not sliding anywhere. Now, we just continue to wrap down the shank I, uh, as a hook. I choose to use a Kamakatsu hook on a F3M40. Uh, it's a nice hook for pike fishing if you are not fishing too big streamers. So, uh, for small or medium sized pike streamers, it's, it's perfect. But uh, if the streamers are getting too long, I uh, rather have the, the hook a little bit further back and that for the shank is too short. But for the streamers, it's ideal because you just need little material to cover the hook due to the short shank and then uh, it's a nice pattern to tie in. So we start with this tree snare to place it onto the hook like that. We have a little bit standing above the hook um, so it's supporting the tail and the other fibers um, from getting catched by the hook. Now we just uh, place it on top like that. Spread the fibers a bit, you can do that with the brush as well if you want. And uh, just like you would do it with a uh, cocktail, just take the pen tool and reverse the fibers and just tie on top. Get it really tight like that. Okay. Brush it out again, and our tail is now already finished. So we take a little bit of flesh material and some prepared here. It's just some EP sparkle, you can use flesh boo, um, angel fiber, everything you want. I just uh, always use that when I do tying videos or anything because it's just you know it's quick and dirty just to grab it out and tie it in. No cutting. That's good. We've got a little bit of flesh on and uh so uh, we tie a fire tiger again and put some green on the top and then on the gills in front we do a little bit of orange. Um, the trick now is, mm, oh not trick, but the method I choose now is uh, to tie it hollow tight like we know it from, from bucktail flies. Uh, probably we'll do a bucktail tutorial as well. Um, but by tying material onto the hook shank hollow tie is actually means you tie it in uh, pointing towards the front like that and um, this gives you a lot of volume with hardly any material and that makes your fly lighter nicer to uh, nicer to uh, cast not to fish at all and so we just tie it on top here it's a really simple pattern just I think everyone can tie it as uh, not nothing really difficult about it. It's just uh, if you can handle a brush and scissors, you'll be fine to go. That's all you need for this pattern. So we 
take a little bit more chartreuse again. And now they are still super long, so we pull out the uh, tips and align them again. Also, make sure you have a little bit of the uh, of the underfoot fibers just to create a little bit of volume. And so like that, you see here the crinkled fibers that give me a little bit of volume later because the long fibers are really straight and a bit stiffer and I think it just gives the fly a little bit more natural look if you sometimes use a little bit of the curly fibers in it as well not too much though so I'll do it like that really easy pattern just uh, like you know from Bachtel, you fold it back. You could do it now with a cone in front of it. Well, it's just wasting time, so just tie it on top. It will give you a nice shape of a bait fish uh, without much work. So just tie it onto the knot. A few windings in front of it to lock it, and then come up again and. Pull it tight. The, um, if you catch it and go f uh, up the shank and back again, you uh, prevent the material from turning around the hook shank and, and you, so you keep your, your back on, on the, the upper side and your belly on the, on the lower side, which gives you a nice division of, uh, of the colors. That's exactly what you want to have. So we take a little bit of green again. And I have to admit, it's my last green and it's not, not the best, but uh, I ordered new ones with big streamers and um, they promised to send me the best green they have. So I'm really looking forward to get that next week. But for now this one here will do. It's not that important anyway for this kind of pattern. So we just take another clumps of green, tapered it a bit. Got a bit of the underfur out, but not everything. Just tie it in here. Let me take a little bit of the, the chartreuse again. And as we did it before, we pull out the fibers as we have along the lengths. And what you can do as well is if you align the tips, you can just cut it to the length you want. And these are the tips which are left over. So. Um, like from the really short tip, so I just mix it again. And I do have a little bit of the uh, curly material in my uh, in my mix, and just gives it a better look. Mm -hmm. So just tie that on the back, uh, on the belly side. Sorry, mm -hmm. quick and dirty. Three wraps to hold it tight. Same on the other side. Bring in position. Like that. Now it's uh, I'll just take a bit of glue just to keep it in position, brush it out a bit. And now it's our last step of green and then uh, do some orange at the belly. And uh, then the fly is already finished and uh, you see already that we have um, a lot of volume. And we produce a lot of volume with these hollow type fly style. And even when the fly is wet it will keep a lot of volume. We we'll just take another clumps of green. Get the end of fur out a bit at least. Take it a bit like that. And just lay it on top of here. Pull it tight. And then we get some orange. Like that. Um, Do the trick. Just 
cut it really close to the pot. We want to leave a little bit on the frame, therefore we grab it really tight and really close to the end and just get the short fibers, the really short fibers and the first one, two centimeters out. So here the MFR is still in and just thinning out the MFR a bit. So we uh, align the tips of it, get it a bit shorter. Just tie it in like that. Material back to wraps, to wraps on that side. Just pull it tight and make a knot in it. Go for a second knot. Super glue. And the only thing you need to do now is to uh, brush it out. So you have a lot of volume here already. Nice fire tiger style. And just tighten it up a bit. And brush out the belly a bit. the other fur out which is not trapped by the thread. And we have a finished fly like that with a lot of volume and um, what you can do if you want that you can put it on the last wrap here you see that you can put a little bit of glue um, as supporting layer so we just uh, take a little bit of the E6000 on a dummy needle, just place it here, pull it back and pull the needle out. And this gives us a little bit of support for the eyes. So in the eyes, we're taking the, uh, the big 3D eyes again and just put them on top of it. as well. Just got my eye tool. Just helps me to uh, to lock the eyes a bit. Keeps everything in place and now we just have to wait a bit uh, until the uh, the glue is set. So the eyes should be dry now. So here yeah, the eyes are dry and now we have our finished hollow tied knife fly. And uh, only the stripes are missing now. But uh, this won't get that heavy while casting like uh, the streamer we tied before and fiber style tying and therefore we can uh, tie bigger streamers and easily cast it on an 8 or 9 weight rod um, fishing for pike flies, uh, fishing for pike, perfect.